Yo, this is your boy Krusty Kid back here with another Detroit Lions video. Coming off of our bye, we got the Green Bay Packers next going into Lambeau for that Monday night showdown. And what can I say? Well, I think we all know this is a big game, not just for the Lions, but for the Packers as well. Uh, pretty much a statement game. I don't want to say it's a must win, but if you look at the whole outlook of the whole NFC right now, the whole NFC North is pretty good. Chicago's doing good. Vikings are looking nice. Packers are nice. Lions are trying to prove themselves right now. And then you got the West out there, which is looking pretty tough too. And then the East, I think Eagles, they're, they're looking like they're going to take some dumbness. I think Ke Dallas could still show some stuff in the coming weeks. And the South has got um, three quality teams. I think Arizona falls off a little bit there, but the NFC is tough, so every game going forward is going to be huge, including this game on Monday night. Now, let's get let, let's get a little bit into it. I think the keys to success here for Detroit is going to be able to be, offensively, we need to be able to run the ball. Like I said in the Kansas City game, and we were able to run the ball pretty decently in that game. We weren't able to close that game out, had a couple turnovers that were proved to be really key in the outcome of that game. But in this game, we got to be able to run the football so we can h help set up the play-action game. I think our receivers will be able to make some plays here and there. As, as, and our tight end, uh, Jesse James, Hawkinson, they'll be able to make some plays. But I think the keys to success here is got to be running the ball with Kirion Johnson. We've got to try and dictate the pace of this game. Um, and that's probably the biggest weakness about the Green Bay Packers defense right now. And they're, let me tell you, they're playing some great ball right now. They're getting great pressure. They're great in the secondary, and they're getting turnovers right now. So we got to be careful when going up against this club, and we've got to be able to run the football. It's got to be a physical showdown. Now, uh, on the flip side of the ball, we got to get pressure on Rodgers. Kind of the same thing I said in the Pat Mahomes game. Like, if we don't get pressure, at least contain Rodgers. Don't let him get out of the pocket and make some big plays. And I know they're a little banged up at receiver. I mean, we just came off our bye. We had a lot of injuries, and we, we're getting some guys back. I don't think everybody's fully back, but from what it is, from a health standpoint, the Lions are in better shape than they were a couple weeks ago. Green Bay's still a little, bang, a little banged up without... I, I don't know if Devontae Adams will play in this game, so... We're going to see how that plays in. I think the keys defensively, we definitely have to stop Aaron Jones and their run attack. We don't want to get them going. If they get it going on rushing the football, that's that's going to be trouble for us going into this game. So we need to be able to run the football and be able to stop the run and contain Rodgers. If we can't get there, because I know we've been struggling to get pressure consistently, but if we can at least contain Rodgers and keep him in the pocket. Mind you, he's great in the pocket, but like Mahomes, if you allow him to get out of the pocket, he becomes a whole other monster. So... As far as this game concerned, who I think is going to win, this one's even tougher than last time. I had the Chiefs beating us last time, which they ended up doing. But in this game, like, honestly, this is a game that's just going to go right down to the wire. And I can't really say, especially with these div division games, it's, like, hard to predict. Like, with the Lions and uh, Packers, particularly, uh, I want to say, not the last two seasons, because, you know, Green Bay hasn't had Rodgers and they've had some injuries, but... Usually what you expect out of the Lions-Packer matchup usually isn't what it is. Like, they've had a lot of games where I think it's going to be a shootout, and then it just turns into an ugly defensive game. And there's a lot to consider with this game, and I can see a scenario where either of these teams ends up winning. But given that it is in Lambeau, uh, you know what? I'm going to take Detroit. I'm going to take Detroit in a, in, a, in a close one in the fourth quarter. But, man, I, I can see Green Bay taking it just as well. This is going to be a close game. I think it's going to be one of those games of the week type game going on. I can see either team, uh, either team taking this. But I feel a little bit – the reason why I'm going to take Detroit here is I feel – I have more um, – how should I say? I trust the Lions receivers more what they have on the field than I do Green Bay right now. And I think defense, both defenses are playing um, well, and we got Slay back. I think that's going to be the deciding factor. It's going to be receivers here. But like I said, Green Bay's got a great front. This, this is going to be one of those games. It could go either way. But I'm going to take Detroit just because I like what we have at receiver compared to the Packers, who are a little banged up with Devontae Adams. If Adams had played in this game, I, I probably might have my, my pick would probably be swapped. But since it doesn't look like Adams will play, I think Detroit will be able to get this in a, in a biter. It's going to be a close one. And I think we sneak away with a victory on Lambeau and to start this on next NFL week. Now, what can I say anymore? Go Lions is a big game. It's going to be a big game going forward, and we got to do our job. Go Lions.